Okay, so in this video we're going to translate a phrase with sum in it and turn it into a, a math uh, expression and then we'll solve it. We'll do these two examples here and then these two examples here, right? So I'm going to do this one and I want you to do the one afterwards. So the sum of negative 2 and negative 9, right? So sum just means add. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, it could say calculate. Maybe it could have said calculate the sum of negative 2 and negative 9, or find the sum. But the sum of negative 2 and negative 9 is simply, you know, negative 2 plus negative 9, right? And uh, just another opportunity to chat about why we even have parentheses for negative numbers. We don't need them. We don't need parentheses there because um, you can just add them, see? So it's negative 2 plus negative 9, 2 bad guys and 9 bad guys, that's 11 bad guys. So we don't actually need parentheses, but we usually put them in just to separate the plus sign from the negative sign. That's all. But it doesn't mean multiply. You got And we'll see that, we'll multiply with integers real soon. It doesn't mean multiply. By the way, integers just means positive and negative numbers, that's all. Um, so, or in fact, positive and negative kind of whole numbers, if you like. So, so not uh, 1.5. That's not an integer, or not negative 1.5, but just the kind of positive and negative whole numbers. So, um, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and so on. Right? That's integers. Right? But basically, negative numbers. Um, so, it, w when we say integers, we basically mean negative numbers because because that's what we talk about w when we begin learning about negative numbers. So anyway, so go ahead and do this one yourself. The sum of nine and negative fifteen. So again, the sum just means add. So you just go nine plus negative fifteen. Right? That's all. And don't need a parenthesis around it, but it, it's just useful just to, to make sure to split up the plus from the negative sign. That's nine good guys, fifteen bad guys, six bad guys altogether, right? Okay, what about this? Five added to the sum of negative eight, negative three and negative eight. What do you think you do there? Okay, what about just get this part first? Because we know how to do the sum of negative 3 and negative 8. See what I'm saying? And we'll deal with the 5 added later, right? So we can just get that part first. Does that make sense? So the sum of negative 3 and negative 8. Negative 3 plus negative 8. We could even calculate that. So we've dealt with this part, and then 5 added, what do you think that means? How would you represent 5 added to that? 5 added, add 5, right? So that's 5 added to the sum of negative 3 and negative 8, right? And you can split these signs up with a parenthesis, and that's how you write that that phrase as an expression and then we can calculate that, right? So negative 3 plus negative 8 that's 3 bad guys and 8 bad guys is 11 bad guys and then plus Um, 11 bad guys and 5 good guys, what does that make? Six bad guys, right? Negative six. Okay. So press pause and do this one yourself. Six added to the sum of negative 15 and negative six. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So we're going to do the sum of a negative 15 and negative 6 first, because we know how to do that anyway. Negative 15 plus negative 6, right? 6 added to that, 6 added to that, 
plus 6, right? And we'll uh, put parentheses around this negative sign here. Okay. And um, we can add this add the bad guys together, 15 bad guys and 6 bad guys is 21 bad guys, whoops, 21, negative 21 plus 6 21 bad guys and 6 good guys is 15 bad guys, negative 15, right? and of course you know we're gonna see addition is commutative, like you can add you can switch, when you're adding you can switch the numbers around you know, so I mean, we could have done six plus negative six uh, plus negative fifteen if we wanted to. You know, six just do the six and negative six together, and that would give us zero plus negative fifteen. Of course, is just negative fifteen, right? So, so because addition is commutative, means you don't have to go from left with a if you, if everything is just being added. You don't just have to go from left to right. Okay, so it's a good idea to go from left to right when you're when you're calculating because that'll make sure you don't make a mistake. But when you definitely just have addition, you can uh, mix the numbers around, or you could have done you could have uh, just done these guys first. You could have just done you could have just added these two over here. See that negative six and six is zero negative 15 plus 0 is negative 50 okay? because it, addition is commutative you can move it around but of course that's not the same with, with, with subtraction but we'll see that soon